If everyone could take a seat so we could start the City Council tonight uh, on Monday, September 16th at 7 p.m. in the Council Chambers. I'd like to call the meeting to order and explain the disaster procedures. If there would be a tornado, of course, we would go to the basement and you would actually go over where you pay your sewer bill and go straight down the stairs to the basement. And if it would happen to be a fire, we would go out the exit door in an orderly fashion, and uh, then we would meet over at the courthouse for counting of heads and people. Okay, I'd like to remind you that the meetings are being videotaped, so it's important that everyone speak directly into a microphone when speaking. So let's have the roll call of older persons. Jenny? Alderperson Whitaker. Here. Alderperson Schneider. Here. Alderperson Duco. Here. Alderperson Aris. Here. Alderperson Randall. Here. Alderperson Ferguson. Alderperson Anthony. Here. Alderperson Ovian. Here. Alderperson Dentleman. Here. Alderperson Schaefer. Here. Alderperson Steele. Here. Alderperson Rothweiler. Here. Alderperson Elmore. Here. Alderperson Wygant. Here. Alderperson Sullivan. Here. Alderperson Ostoff. Here. Mayor Alderperson Ferguson is excused. Okay, thank you. And now roll call of department heads. City Treasurer Beerman. City Attorney Horner, Present. Police Chief Matt Icecant, Here. Fire Chief Stephanie Mills, Here. Finance, Finance Director Jamie Matrit, Here. Director of Public Works Jason Poole, Here. Director of Wastewater Randy Smith, Here. Director of Library Leander Spearman, Here. Director of IT Ty Buckner, Here. City Engineer Scott Sager, Here. Director of Health Housing Building Scott Tyler, Here. Director of Economic Development Planning Zoning Cliff Cross, Present. Director of Human Resources Bill Clay, Director of Maintenance, Mike Schaefer. Mayor Mike Schaefer is excused. Okay, let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. We have no public hearing this evening and public participation I'd like to remind everyone that public participation will go two to three minutes. I believe we are going to put the three minute timer on the agenda uh, boards. Okay, who would like to speak first? Yes, Mr. Brown. Rick Brown, uh, 624 South Pennsylvania Avenue, Belleville, Illinois. You know, I love this country and I love the Constitution. And what I see up here sometimes, uh, Mayor, uh, some others, um, you treat Stuart Lanner pretty badly, I think. You know, there's a reason that the First Amendment is number one. It's, it's extremely important that we have the right to talk and to talk about what we want to talk about, not just what you want to talk about. It's called free speech. And if you don't like it, then just tolerate it for three minutes. Just tolerate us, please. Okay, now for my time. I'd like to remind you that it needs to be on the agenda what we're discussing, but thank you. It doesn't have to be anywhere. This is our three minutes and our constitution. You are here for us. We're not here for you. Now, I'd like to finish talking about uh, what I was talking about last week. What are you going to do about Cliff lying to you guys up here about what was in the ordinance the night you were voting on it, on that ordinance that was passed on November the 6th? That's a problem because you people don't know what are in some of these ordinances because you couldn't, because you, you, there's no reason to, to, to vote for them unless you knew, but you didn't know on these. You guys got a real problem with your demolitions and how you um, came up with the ordinance to demolish homes. You know, the change was made on November 6th of 2023. You have demolished, I don't know how many hundreds of homes. And I don't know exactly what the statute of limitations is. I'm not a lawyer. But you got a real problem because when you did these retroactive rezonings, you started demolishing right away. Everything you could get your hands on, from mobile home parks, mobile homes, houses, apartment buildings, uh, duplexes, and then now 
it seems from that same meeting that duplexes aren't a problem anymore. That they're not gonna, you know, go uh, uh, demolish the duplexes, just the apartments, which we all know why you're doing that. That's to keep certain people from the city closest to us, East St. Louis, from moving up here. That's what it was all about. And I'll tell you what, 60 Minutes needs to come down here again. You know, they broadcast it every year. Every year, the same thing. It shows up on their, on their uh, uh, race in America. You know, this is why we have no business and nobody wants to come build subdivisions here. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Okay, anybody else? Oh, Stuart, come on. Oh, I think we've got someone else coming up. Would you like to come up first, sir, and just? I didn't know. That's all right. Okay. Didn't mean to cut you off. Yes, you need to state your name and your address. Okay. My name is Mike Cortez. Uh, I am a resident of the uh, Metro East. I live in the city of O'Fallon, and uh, my address is 1029 Stony Brook Drive, O'Fallon, Illinois. Thank you. Uh, the reason I'm here tonight, I'm here as a messenger. Uh, I am a board member of the uh, St. Louis Arts Chamber, and we are a very active uh, chamber uh, within the arts community. And uh, we apply for grants. And during the last uh, several years, I can say we've received some very large grants uh, <clears throat> that uh, we're, we're quite proud of. We're currently um, working on beautification of Del Mar Avenue. We are currently uh, going to be working on Marquette Park and completely uh, remodeling that, uh, or redeveloping that entire park, which is approximately 20 acres. This is in Dutchtown, in the um, Dutchtown area of St. Louis. And uh, uh, I live in the Metro East, but I'm on this uh, board in St. Louis. And uh, you might call me an unsolicited lobbyist for the Metro East. And after five years, I've finally convinced some people that we should look a little more regionally. And by, um, by saying that, um, we're hoping to uh, work regionally with several of the cities here in the Metro East towards art beautification. We have many grants that we're working on, and a lot of them can be dovetailed into projects that you may have here in this city. That is everything from um, uh, <clears throat> intersection beautification, street, street striping, um, and uh, the list goes on because we're involved in also in the downtown area of St. Louis. We're going to be um, reducing the size of Tucker Boulevard creating a mid meridian in, in the center, which apparently goes back to the way it was originally <coughs> um, uh, built, back towards the 1900s. And hopefully that's going to be wide enough to have um, um, uh, what's it? farmer's markets. <laughs> in, any, in any event, uh, I am a messenger. And we're simply uh, looking to uh, uh, work with the cities here on the uh, Metro East. Uh, I gave a presentation a few weeks back to one particular city, met with the appropriate people. We and have the time's up, sir. Okay. But I want to congratulate you on what, all the progress that you're making. And if you are interested, I mean, I think we would also be very interested in meeting with you. And so Cliff Cross is our economic developer. And so if you would like to sit down for lunch one day, I think we would be happy to speak with you. Okay, uh, I will leave my uh, personal um, 
phone number with uh, someone, uh, the appropriate person. They can contact me and we can work okay. out from there. Thank you. Okay, anyone else? Yes, sir. Good evening. My name is Sean Jordan. I live at 8 Midland Court in Swansea, Illinois. This is my son, Benny. He can't quite reach the, mic reach the microphone. So. <laughs> um, we are very active here in the community in Belleville, even though we live in Swansea. Uh, you know, we have a kid in high school here. We are part participants in Scouting America here. And we also are participants in the Belleville Theater Company, which is on the agenda for later tonight for a zoning variance. We came just to speak as citizens in support of the Belleville Theater Company and the great work that they have done. Benny has been a student there, and he's actually wearing a shirt from one of the productions that he was in uh, earlier this summer that they did just a couple of blocks away from here. And we would just like to um, urge the council tonight to take very seriously what they're asking for. They are a wonderful presence here in Belleville. They are bringing arts and performance arts that really are desperately needed here, and they just do a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, Stuart, come forward and please state your name and address. Stuart Lanner, Belleville, Illinois. I have a hard time figuring out what these last two speakers had to do with the agenda or anything to do with Belleville, but if I may, I will read my uh, little notes here. False terrorism threat, case one, 1972, was in Welding School in East St. Louis. Someone called school and said a bomb was in school. We were all evacuated from building for a couple of hours while police and fire department searched school. They found no bomb. We went back to school. Case two, police batch got a call from a well-known local crank who said, was thinking about blowing courthouse up and asked the dispatch if that was a good idea. Was told not a good idea and no more was said or heard was a bit upset that day as day before a neighbor was shot and killed, killer was still at large, police did not contact caller at all, courthouse was not evacuated, uh, and case resulted, judge who ran a gambling joint said I put everyone in danger at courthouse. Well, a false terrorist threat can't put anybody in danger because it's false. Now, the first terrorist threat, they figured it might be something to it, so they evacuated the school and searched the building. But on case two, they didn't think it was even, a, it, it wasn't even rated as a false terrorist threat because they didn't even uh, evacuate the courthouse or anything as that. So, there. Okay, please do not reply to complaint letters by taxpayer either. I signed a complaint letter the seventh of last month and it's still not been addressed. Thank you. And I appreciate being allowed to get my two cents worth in. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice evening, Stuart. Okay, I believe any more public participation? Hearing none, we will move on. Tonight we have a pres presentation, recognitions, and appointments. So I'd like to read a proclamation in recognition of National Sea Tracks Think Train Week from September 23rd to the 29th. Sea Tracks Think Train. Train Week is to be held across the U.S. from September 23rd to 20, the 29th, 2024. And 2,192 rail grade crossing collisions resulted in 765 personal injuries and were responsible for 248 fatalities in the United States during 2023. And one, whereas 1,378 pedestrians Trespassing casualties have occurred in the United States, resulting in 663 pedestrians being killed and another 715 
injured while trespassing on railroad property rights away during 2023. And whereas education in informing the public about rail safety, reminding the public that railroad right of ways are private property, enhancing public awareness of the dangers associated with highway railroad crossings, crossings, ensuring pedestrians and motorists are looking and listening while near railways and obeying established traffic laws will reduce the number of avoidable fatalities and injuries caused by accidents involving trains and citizens. Whereas the International Association of Chiefs of Police, National Operation Lifesaver Inc., United States Department of Transportation, and all local state, county, and railroad law enforcers, first responders, and railroad corporations commit to partnering together in an effort to educate at a national level all aspects of railroad safety to enforce applicable laws in support of national sea tracks. Think Train Week. Now therefore I, Patty Gregory, Mayor of the City of Belleville, Illinois, do hereby proclaim September 23rd to the 29th, 2024, as National Sea Tracks Think Train Week, and I encourage all citizens to recognize the importance of rail safety education. It witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Belleville to be affixed the 16th day of September, 2024. Thank you very much. Uh, no one is here from train week tonight, but we will make sure that this gets to the hands of the correct person. Okay. Uh, I, do we have anyone from the VFW here this evening? Okay. I just wanted to congratulate them on their anniversary. I did gave them a proclamation in some a uh, couple weeks ago, and some uh, said they may be coming tonight to be recognized. So. Hmm? <laughs> You're here? I'm here. Okay. Do you want me to read the proclamation? No, I would appreciate it. I'm a, I'm a member of uh, 1739. Yes, that's where I was. Okay. Whereas the Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States, VFW, was founded in 1899 by a small group of veterans who returned from campaigns in Cuba and in the Philippines banded together to create a veterans organization that would advocate on behalf of all veterans, and whereas the VFW is a nonprofit veteran service organization comprised of eligible veterans and military service members from the active guard and reserve forces, and whereas the VFW mission is to foster camaraderie among United States veterans of overseas conflicts to serve our veterans, the military, and our communities, and to advocate on behalf of all veterans. And whereas, since its inception, has been instrumental in the establishment of the Veterans Administration, the nation's cemetery system, and the creation of every National Veterans Memorial. And whereas, the VFW has played a vital role in virtually every significant piece of veterans legislation passed in the 20th and 21st century to include honoring our PACT Act, the most significant expansion of veterans benefits in its history. And whereas the VFW's 125th anniversary is being observed on September 29, 2024, this date shall officially be known as VFW Day. And now therefore I, Patty Gregory, Mayor of the City of Belleville, <coughs> do hereby proclaim September 29th, 2024 as VFW Day in honor of the VFW's invaluable contributions to the veteran community in Belleville and around the world. We hereby stand with the VFW to ensure veterans are respected for their service, always receive their earned entitlements, and are recognized for the sacrifices they and their loved ones made on behalf of this great country. In witness whereof, I have, I have here unto set my hand and caused the seal of the city of Belleville to be affixed this 29th day of August, 2024. They actually had, had me come on the 29th of August. But let's give a big round of applause for all of our veterans. Thank you very much. 
At this point in time, I would like to have a motion to approve Sean P. McGilliott to serve the remaining of a one-year term on the Historic Preservation Committee, expiring 6-5-2025. Second. Thank you very much. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. And Sean is in the audience tonight. Would you like to be stand? And so we can thank you properly. Thank you so much. We appreciate your service. Okay, now for approval of minutes. Motion to approve the City Council meeting minutes of September 3rd. 2024. Shaper, so moved. Second. Any second? Thank you, Lillian. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Claims, payrolls, and disbursements. Motion to approve claims and disbursements in the amount of $1,059,074.69 and payroll in the amount of $1,003,602.98. Thank you. Second? Schaefer. Thank you. Any discussion? Let's go to roll call. Thank you, Jenny. Whitaker? Aye. Schneider? Aye. Duco? Aye. Aris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Obian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you very much. Tonight we have no reports, so we'll start with oral reports from standing committees, special committees, and any other oral reports from the elected officials or staff. I'd like to start with motion from Parks Board from Alderperson Dittleman. Uh, for the park, excuse me, Parks Board, I'd like to make a motion on 11A1, motion to approve a facility use agreement with Little Knights Football Club for non-exclusive use of the J.C. Park at 750 West H Street for the annual amount of $2,000 through June 30th, 2028. Thank you. Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Schneider? Yes. Duco? Aye. Aris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff, Aye. Whitaker. Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you very much. And now motion for Master Sewer, Alderperson Dittleman. On behalf of Master Sewer Committee, I'd like to make a motion on 11B1, a motion to approve the construction observation agreement with Gonzalez Companies for the East Creek Sewer Separation Project in the amount of $391,500. So moved. Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Duco? Aye. Aris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Schneider? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. And now motion from administration. Jenny? Can I read them together? Yes, please. 11C1, motion to approve a facility use agreement with American Red Cross to utilize two rooms at the Southwestern Illinois Justice and Workforce Development Campus, October 1st, 2024 through September 30th, 2029. Um, 11C2, motion to purchase, purchase the following properties from St. Clair County Tax Agent, 113 South 18th Street, parcel 0820041321, South 17th Street, parcel 0820418015, 12 East D Street, parcel 0821042003, 807 Shield Street, parcel 0822011025. Uh, we are removing um, 514 Freeburg Avenue because there's another parcel attached to that house, so we're not going to purchase that. And 611 East McKinley, parcel 0827013903031, and the amount of $3,930 for demolition, and the property located at 400 South Jackson, parcel 0827011201, and the amount of $786 for an RFQ rehab project. Thank you. Second. Schaefer. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Aris. Aye. Randall. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Dittleman. Aye. Schaefer. Aye. Steele. Aye. Rothweiler. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Wygant. Aye. Sullivan. Aye. Ostoff. Aye. Whitaker. Aye. Schneider. 
Aye. Duco. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. And now motions from traffic. Alderperson Elmore. I have an objection to reading them together. The motion, I'll make a motion, two motions, 11D1, a uh, motion to approve the handicapped parking at 409 North 7th Street in name of the applicant only, and motion 11D2, motion to approve a school speed zone on Commons Parkway from North Greenmount to Autumn Harvest. Second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Now motion from finance, Alderperson Whitaker. Any objection to reading them together? No. no. Okay. On behalf of the Finance Committee, 1181, a motion to approve bank financing with Busey Bank at 3.90% <coughs> interest for financing of two new rear loader sanitation trucks. And 11E2, motion to approve a five-year contract renewal with Watts Copy Systems for a copy machine at the General and Community Assistance Office. So moved. Schaefer, second. Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Schneider? Aye. Duco? Aye. Aris? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Okay, motion from Streets and Grades, Alderperson Randall. Thank you, Mayor. 11F1, motion to approve a contract with Forney Contracting Company, Inc., lowest responsible bidder for the 2024-2025 concrete patch program in the amount of $204,749.20, motor fuel tax and TIF funds, so moved. Schneider, second. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Dentleman, Schaefer, Steele, Rothweiler, Aye. Elmore, Wygant, Sullivan, Aye. Ostoff, Aye. Whitaker, Aye. Schneider, Aye. Duco, Harris, Randall. Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. And now, Jenny, motion from Zoning Board of Appeals. 11G1, 44 August 24, Seth Pipegrass, request for a use variance to allow for the establishment and operation of a performance venue with accessory student class venues teaching at the property commonly known as 7500 West Main 07010306019 and a C1 light commercial district. Applicable sections of the zoning code 162.232, 162.570, Ward 8. Zoning Board of Appeals recommended approval with a condition that a formal parking agreement be in place to accommodate off-site parking with a vote of 6 to 0. Harris, so moved. Thank you. Second? Sullivan. Sullivan. Okay, thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. And now from communications, uh, Jenny, would you like to start? Can I read them all together? Please. 12A, Old Bubble Luminary Walk, 1214-2024, request from Gustav Corner House. Well, the Historical Society, St. Clair County Historical Society, and neighbors of Aubin Garfield Streets to amend the Old Belleville Historical Luminary Walk Saturday, December 14, 2024, for an additional street closure of East Monroe at Aubin and Survey Street, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. 12B, Heroes on Our Mist, 11 2024 Request from SWIC PSOP to host Heroes in Our Mist, Monday, November 4, 2024, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Street closure, North Church Street, between East B and EC, 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Additional services, no parking, signage, open, closed street, and fire truck with American flag. 12C, Paint Historic Belleville Art Auction, 928, 2024. Belleville Historical Society requests to host Paint Historic Belleville Art Auction Saturday, September 28th, 2024, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Street closure request East Garfield, west of Mosquito Avenue for approximately 50 yards towards Aubin. Additional services, no parking signage, trash shoulders, street sweeping and barricades. 12D, Bows Halloween Block Party, 1019, 2024. Request from Bowles Properties to host a Halloween block party Saturday, October 19, 2024, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Street closure request one block on North 36th Street between West A and Marion, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Additional services, barricades, no parking, signage, trash show, and picnic table. 12E, 300 to 400 South Pennsylvania block party, 1020, 2024. Request from neighborhood to host a block party in the 300 to 400 block of South Pennsylvania. Sunday, October 20th, 2024, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Street closure, 300 to 400 block of South Pennsylvania between East McKinley and McClintock, 11.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Additional city services, no parking signage, barricades, trash toters, and picnic tables. 12F, all high school class reunion, 928, 2024. Request from Tavern on Main to host all high school class reunion, Saturday, September 28, 2024, 4 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. Street closure, North Church from East Main to Alley parking lot entrance. 
4 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. and use of Powderborn Square. Additional services, picnic tables, trash traders, and no parking signage. 12G, Queen of Peace Parish Festival, 9-6-2025. Request from Queen of Peace to host their parish festival, Saturday, September 6, 2025, 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. Additional services, barricades, trash traders, picnic tables, and police personnel. 12H, facility use agreement, events, supplementing the City Council's prior action on September 3rd, 2024, approving the facility usage agreements for 30 Public Square with Oktoberfest Committee. Tuesday, September 17, 2024, through Friday, September 27, 2024, Much Always Pride, Friday, October 4, 2024, through Monday, October 7, 2024, and Chili Cook-Off, Friday, October 11, 2024, through Sunday, October 13, 2024. Here are some second. Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Tonight we have no petitions. In resolutions, I need a motion to read by title only, Resolution 3520. Thank you very much. All in favor? All, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Jenny, would you like to read? 14A, Resolution 3520, a resolution authorizing bank loan for two sanitation trucks. Randall, so moved. Schaefer, second. Okay, any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rathweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Schneider? Aye. Duco? Aye. Aris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you very much. Now, under ordinances, I need a motion to read by title only ordinances 9315, 9316, 9317, 9318. Randall, so moved. Thank Steel, you. Second. Thank you. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Jenny, would you like to? I can read them together, yes? Yes. yes. 15A, Ordinance 9315, 2024, and Ordinance Amending Article 7, Traffic Code Chapter 76, Parking Schedules of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Baba, Illinois, as amended by many portions of sections thereof. 15B, Ordinance 9316, 2024, and Ordinance Amending Article 7, Traffic Code, Chapter 73, General Rules for Driving of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Belva, Illinois, amended by amending portions of sections thereof. 15C, Ordinance 9317, 2024, Rezoning Ordinance in regards to Case 44, August 24, Seth Pipegrass. 15D, Ordinance 9318, 2024, an ordinance approving amendment to the estimated date of completion of redevelopment projects for the Drake Road Tax Increment Financing Development Project Area, TIF 3. Whitaker, so moved. Randall, second. Okay. Uh, I believe that's TIF 13. Oh, sorry, TIF 13. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So, do we have any discussion about this? Okay, hearing none, roll call. Gentlemen? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Schneider? Aye. Duco? Aye. Aris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony Aye. Ovian. Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you very much. Tonight we have no unfinished business, and so under miscellaneous and new business, I need a motion to approve motor fuel claims in the amount of $6,404.95. Steel, so moved. Second. Duco. Thank you, Carmen. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore, Wygant, Sullivan, Aye. Ostoff, Aye. Whitaker, Aye. Schneider, Aye. Duco, Aye. Aris, Aye. Randall, Aye. Anthony, Aye. Ovian, Dentleman. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you very much. A motion to go into executive session to discuss collective negotiation matters, 5 ILCS 120-2C2 and pending and probable imminent litigation, including civil and workers' compensation, compensation 5 ILCS 120-2C11. Randall, so moved. Steele, second. Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Thank you, and we will now go into executive session. It does. Okay. Jenny, would you like to read? Can, um, I can read these all together right yes. there. 
I have no yes. problem Can with I that. read these all together, all three of them? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Motion to approve workers' compensation settlement with Douglas Kramer in the amount of $10,967.03. Motion to approve a memorandum of understanding with Belleville Firefighters Association Local Number 53, IAFF, and a motion to approve a memorandum of understanding with Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 226, Belleville Police Officers and Sergeants. Harrison, Schaefer, second. Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Schneider? Aye. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you very much. And now I need a motion to adjourn. Randall's <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Thank you.